Good evening, this is your AI host, Jay. I'm here with the automatically generated, Jernita, evening headlines on November 20th, 2022. Idaho murders, live, 911 call hours after university student stabbings came from roommate's phone. The Independent, University of Idaho students stabbed to death in their beds. BBC, investigators continue to process evidence in Idaho killings, fear grows in community. MSNBC, Idaho murders, live, victim's sister says she called man seven times before killings as families condemn rumors. The Independent, investigators baffled in mysterious killings of four Idaho college students. At least 58 Iranian children reportedly killed since anti-regime protests began. The Guardian, 47 children among 378 killed in Iran protest crackdown, report. NDTV, children's deaths must stop in Iran, says UNICEF, as protests continue. CNN, 47 children among victims of Iranian protests crackdown. RTEIE, Iran hasn't sentenced 15,000 protesters to death. Ukraine war, we will rebuild, vows mayor of flattened Mariupol. BBC, EBRD to support revival strategy for Ukraine's Mariupol. Russia's Shivyulch volcano could burst into powerful eruption any time. The Independent, two volcanoes in Russia's Far East rumble into action. Dorset Echo, Russia's Shivyulch volcano extremely active, threatens eruption, scientists say. Reuters, two volcanoes rumble into action in Russia's Far East. The Washington Post, Russian volcanoes glow as scientists brace for major eruptions on Kamchatka Peninsula. Trump News, live, Republicans rejoice after Trump's account reinstated on Twitter. The Independent, Donald Trump's Twitter account is back after poll votes to lift his ban. Sky News, Politics Explained, Trump has been reinstated on Twitter, but will he return fully? The Independent, Donald Trump says no reason for Twitter return as Elon Musk lifts ban. Keen to welcome visitors but enraged by Western coverage, how Qataris see the World Cup. The Guardian, World Cup 2022, how Qatar built a team ready to dazzle the world. BBC, what will be the legacy of the Qatar World Cup? The Spectator, Qatar can't hide from the world spotlight, express comment. Express, Brad Friedel, it is not fair at all to ask players about Qatar human rights issues at the World Cup. Russia-Ukraine war live, Zaforizhzhia attacks, playing with fire, UN warns, negotiating would be capitulation, Ukraine advisor says. The Guardian, Zaforizhzhia shelling, explosions at occupied nuclear site in Ukraine. BBC, Russia-Ukraine live, shelling at Zaforizhzhia, playing with fire. Al Jazeera English, shelling of Zaforizhzhia is playing with fire, says UN nuclear chief. The Guardian, Playing with fire, UN nuclear watchdog issues dire warning after shelling near Zaforizhia. Club Q Colorado shooting, suspect named after five killed in attack at nightclub. BBC, heroic people stopped attack at US gay nightclub in which five died. Sky News, Colorado Springs shooting, live, suspect named after five killed and 18 injured at LGBT plus nightclub. The Independent, 5 killed and 18 injured in shooting at gay club in Colorado Springs. Manchester Evening News, Colorado Springs nightclub shooting, emergency response vehicles attend scene. COP27, climate costs deal struck but no fossil fuel progress. BBC, COP27, nations need extra day to reach crucial climate change deal. Channel 4 News, as it happened, COP27, historic climate change deal struck to help countries worst hit by warming. BBC, joy, relief at historic climate damages deal. Al Monitor, COP27, one big breakthrough but ultimately an inadequate response to the climate crisis. This was all for the news. Thanks for listening. Please do not forget to like and subscribe.